Hello everyone, Positron taking a quick look at Inside. This is the second game from Studio Play Dead. Uh, you might remember them from a very similar looking game, Limbo, back in 2010. It's actually kind of one of the really first big indie games. Um, and so yeah, I just changed my screen size there. Uh, so this is Inside, is their next game, is a spiritual successor to Limbo, very similar themes. Uh, I have not played much of this at all. Kind of wanted to go into this quick look with a first impressions kind of vibe. Maybe played five or ten minutes so far. So uh, we'll play a bit here and I'll talk a little bit about it. I had some technical issues with it. Um, I am using Joy to Key to get my controller working. I have heard there are some controller issues, which is a little unfortunate. Um, but I believe some of that stuff is being worked out. Uh, it's currently 20 bucks on Steam, um, so that may be something you want to think about as well. Um, it is a very short game from what I've heard, about 3-4 hours. Um, Limbo was similar, it was a pretty short game, but, you know, prices have come up a little bit, so for $20 might be something that maybe you want to wait for a sale. Um, from what I've seen so far, I'm pretty impressed, so I can at least give my recommendation on that. Um, again, it's very Limbo style, very atmospheric. He plays this nameless boy, um, and there's some sort of, uh, I'm not really sure what they are. Where am I? Let's step on that branch. They all have some masks, too, I'm noticing. Now, if this guy sees me, I'm going to be in for a bad time here. Alright. So it's primarily a, um, puzzle platformer. You'll have a little bit of minor puzzling elements, so it'll be some minor platform elements. Um, there are some stealth elements their first puzzle, if you want to call it that. Um, we only have two buttons. We can jump, and we can grab. So if we grab objects, um, we can move them, tip them over, things like that. And we can hop, hop up here. Yes, yeah, so we see these trucks. It's kind of like military style. we got dogs. We're sneaking around the outside of some sort of facility here. I assume, perhaps, that maybe we are going inside. I'm sorry. Kind of. So let's get this crate here. Because um, I hear a dog. And dogs are scary in this game. They are very fast and they are very loud. Alright. Yeah, we're not, we can't move very fast through the water here. This dog is gonna come running for us. Yeah, I gotta go. Okay, here we go. Uh, for the most part, too, um, what you see is what you get. Um, you know, if you like a kind of dark, atmospheric. 2D, 2.5D puzzle platformer, uh, you'll probably really like this game. Um, from what I can tell so far, if you enjoyed Limbo, you'll probably really like this game. Uh, I loved Limbo. I thought it was a fantastic experience. Um, and I'm certainly already intrigued as to, you know, what the hell's going on here. We gotta go here. Now, your character will automatically speed up a little as um, situations occur. Let's hide under here. They're gonna spot me. Um, the little touches too, like the heavy breathing, when he sighs of relief, the lighting effects. I, I mean, the game is really pretty. It's got this kind of weird hazy filter over it too. I'm not sure if that's just because we're outside here or um, that's just the overall game aesthetic, but it's kind of a nice touch. They're definitely going to see me here. Time to go. We will trip over that branch. Found that out the hard way. This is about as far as I've gotten. If we run out here just to show, yeah. Now it looks like they're using some sort of uh, potentially a tranquilizer dart. I had something sticking out of my chest there when they got me. Um, if you die, you just respawn back at the previous kind of scene. 
this truck pass. This guy's gonna catch up on me real fast. Though. There we go. Let's go. Fortunately, we landed in the water. I'm not sure how long I can stay underwater, but I imagine it's not very long. Now, these guys... I'm in... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be in the light. Oh, God, that's kind of horrifying. Um, that's another thing about... If you play Limbo, you'll know that... Um, as simple as it looked, Limbo is a very, very dark game. Um, in every sense of the word. I feel like this is going to be very, very similar. There's some things that, um, perhaps a little grotesque. I know if these guys catch you, they will choke you or shove your face under the water or break your neck or just nasty, nasty things. Now, I don't know if there's secrets under the water or anything, but... Oh, there's some dead pigs. That's interesting. Oh, welcome to Silent Hill. Alright, let's go be a, a child of the corn. Goodness, this is really pretty. Um, oh, the perspective here is, is kind of awesome, actually. It's corn passing in the foreground. Look at those. Are those birds? Yeah, they're little chicks. Oh, that's adorable. There are kind of a lot of them, aren't there? Hi, guys. I'm assuming this door is closed. Yeah, let's head up here. Can I just jump? There we go. I wonder if I can open this door. Yeah, I can actually. Oh, that's very interesting. Huh, I wonder what kind of purpose that serves. Do these guys follow me in here? Oh, they will. Huh. Sure. Oh, that didn't do anything. Alright. What this? Oh, okay, wait, it's like a lawnmower thing. Alright, it's going. Uh, maybe now I can press this? There we go. Oh. Hmm. How do we get that? Um. Oh, maybe it was pushing it. I assume we have to push that bale of hay um, out there. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. We shot the chicks out there. Sorry, guys. That's really funny. Can I get more of them to do that? Like, can I do that again? Because that was actually kind of hilarious unintentionally. Well, let's at least get out of here. 
Goodbye, my little chick friends. I'm gonna Assassin's Creed into this pile of pigs. That would most assuredly break many bones in your body. Wait, what was going on there? What are those wiggling? What is that? That's unsettling. Oh, yeah, what is that? Are those, like, enormous worms? That's pretty gross. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. That legitimately scared the crap out of me. Um does it does it really have to be in that place? I don't quite know what I'm supposed to Oh goodness. Oh, I can jump over it. Okay. Um, I do not like that it's got a butt worm, but, you know. Oh, maybe we can get him to break this down for me. There we go. Thanks, pal. Oh, he's, he's still very mad at me, though. me the the, uh, the brain slugs from limbo right, come on piggy you're not in good shape either oh oh god oh wow whoa Okay, so this gave me control over these guys. This is... Bizarre. Alright, so I can control them and... Oh my god. Oh, I can make them jump, too. Oh, the worst performance of Riverdance ever here. All right, can I get out? Yeah. Eesh. Hey, now we're outside. There's a lot of people back there by this truck.
my guess is I need to pull this. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I actually think I need to push it. I want that chain. I was thinking I needed to uh, get on top of this to get the chain. There we go. Should be able to climb up this now. Whoops. Use those gym class skills, kid. this chair now I hear the chicks outside hey guys oh they're just birds so yeah again I mean this is inside um, what you see is what you get as far as I know I'm assuming there will probably be a little more heavy puzzling as the game goes on um, but if you like what you see then I'd say go pick it up um, I'm pretty intrigued by this probably evident by the fact that I've kind of been just playing the game and not saying a whole heck of a lot else about it here. Um, can I turn this before I do this? I can. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. And, uh, again, it's one of those situations if you feel comfortable spending $20 for you know, again, that's only going to be maybe three or four hours long. Um, I, hear, I have heard there's a secret ending, so I mean, that might extend some of it, but... Um, this seems like a bad idea. Goodness. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. So I will do one or two more little segments here, a couple more minutes, and then I will end the video. There will be a link below, of course. And of course, thanks to Play Dead for providing me the code to let me play around with this. It is pretty damn cool. What is this? Oh, oh god. I got an achievement for that called Left Behind. Um, I just destroyed whatever that was. Maybe another good time to... Have one more zombie segment and then, uh. This is so weird. You guys hug each other? No? Oh, wait a minute, okay. So these lights on the side. Oh, I get it. There's the switches there. Okay. So... I need to, um... Close this. So I can use it to space them out properly. How would I do that? Is it like that? Will that do it? Yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's kind of a cool... It's kind of a cool thing. Disconnect myself here. And this brings me to... Underground train station.
Well, this is very, very reminiscent of uh, towards the end of Limbo, actually. I think maybe this is a, a good time to to end here with this scene of them shambling below. But yeah, so this is inside. Uh, once again, thanks to Play Dead for letting me check this out. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. It's on Steam. It's also on Xbox One, I believe. Uh, it's twenty dollars. I think it's pretty cool. Um, again, you know, if you think twenty dollars is a little too expensive for a shorter experience, maybe you want to wait for a Steam sale, but. Otherwise, um, this feels very Limbo-esque. If you enjoyed Limbo, I think you'll enjoy this. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.